But it is what it is what it is, YouTube. You know who he is. It's your boy, the Moose. Moose one. Let's kick it. Moose on the loose. Moose on the loose. It'll be party all day long. It moves on the loose. Moose on the loose. What are you waiting for? Two hundred subscriber edition. Two hundred subscriber edition. Okay. So been in the game a while. Um I've been on YouTube for three years. Um and I wanted to discuss this because I the I I've been reading all over the place. On social media, um, I read it all the time. Um, I read it in Serato DJ, and then I read it in Virtual DJ too. Um, where a new, where a new person has just started DJing and they ask him questions. And they start asking me questions. And because they want to know, they they're not they're not being they're trying not to be misguided because they want to they want to know more about weddings and they want to know more about parties and all that. I can understand that. Um, now a lot of DJs will be like, well, why don't you just go ahead and shadow somebody? That's an old timer. A lot of old timers will say that. Well, why don't you shadow? I shadow somebody. Why don't you shadow somebody when I win? Well, let me tell you all this. Your boy didn't. Your boy didn't. From the day that I started this DJing, at first, I started DJing at the club. Not kind of club you think it. But I started partying at a, a club. I came in with two borrowed speakers and an iPad. That was my first one. And then New Year's Eve, my own two speakers and my iPad. Valentine's Day, my two speakers and a DJ controller. That's how it went for me. And then it, it went on from there. Now, my first gig that I set up was the wedding. And that's this picture right here. That's my very first wedding. Now, notice, I do have a tablecloth. I do. I do have a tablecloth. Now, I, I did I did bring tablecloth. I never had, not never had a tablecloth. I always had some kind of cloth on the table to kind of make it look a little better than what I normally do. And I always, I don't from day one, I always had that because I know um, I'm an experienced stagehand. So I know, and I'm going to tell you something. Being an experienced stagehand, you just drop it like it's hot. You take the wire and you drop it. You plug it in. You make sure that you put the 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 wires on so that they're not going to trip and you're good to go. The guitarist is the only person you and the, and the bassist are the only two people that you have to worry about tripping because they're tripping on their own stuff. Because um, usually the bassist and the guitarist plug into their amps on stage. So they're really not plugging into the system. Now, a lot of people do. I, do, I give them that. A lot of the big bands nowadays, it is. But when it was set up the way I was when I was a roadie, that's one of the things I did. And I wasn't a, a sound. I was a sound roadie. So basically, that's what I did all day. Um. So the big thing is, is they say, they tell you to shadow somebody. Don't You don't need to shadow nobody. What you need to do is, this is something that I had to learn, is come up with the script. I Googled it and found a script. 
and I used it, and I've been using it since. It's been edited by three clients. And now I'm going to say this. One of the things that I did, I don't know why I did it. I usually don't. What I do is I send, uh, I okay, so I have the script, the wedding script right here. See the wedding script? Well, I took the wedding script and sent it to the client, and it didn't look like this wedding script that I sent. I didn't know the client was a school teacher. <laughs> I didn't know the client was a school teacher. I sent him DJ, I sent her DJ script. I didn't send her the other one. The the basically what I do is I send a, a wedding it's called a wedding song itinerary. And basically what it does is it starts from the beginning. And I need to put the reception in. I don't put the reception in. It usually starts when the ceremony. A lot of people don't know that. They they assume that, well, I changed a lot of it now. You got the ceremony in there along with the reception. So, and there is a big chunk of it that says how the bride. Now, this is where it gets me. A lot of them are new and don't know that. A lot of them think that you're going to announce Every single person twice, and you don't do that. When the wedding party comes in for your ceremony, you don't you don't say who's escorting who and who's doing what. And you might might see that. I'm not saying that people don't do it that way, but I don't. What I what I've self taught on um, everything. Everything's self-taught. No, I didn't follow nobody around or try to to whiff on somebody. But what I did learn is that one of the things that is very different for me, and I'm I'm about to change that. So I will have a an actual ceremony. I do have a ceremony rig in in the in the garage. I do have one. And I should have used it over there. Because I had it with me. I should have used it. But I didn't. Um, the next gig. Uh, is going to be. The same place. But after that. After this one. I will be using. A, a different setup. Um. I'm going to be getting the ones with RCA because I do have, I just remembered I do have a XLR to a RCA connection and I'm going to pick them up. Um, I got them from, yeah, I've had them for a while. I seen, I seen one the other day. At the, and then I, uh, I'm going to pick up a new set basically. So basically the RCA is the only thing that it goes to. So basically what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and get the connection for that, the XLR, so I can run XLR to RCA, and I'm no, no big deal. I only have to do it once with the speaker that I got here, um, and then I can probably uh, – I only need one inside. I don't need two. That 8-inch speaker will do perfect on the inside. So how this wedding's going to work is – I'm going to be outside, which I don't like, but nothing I can do about it because I'm not going to be outside. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that I'm not going to be around the equipment. Um, I will be bringing the trusty old virtual DJ because I can go ahead and um, use the remote because I have to. I'm going to have to get the remote fixed. On the virtual DJ, I'm going to be using a remote for virtual DJ because of this. The first dance could be outside. Everything's going to be outside. The dancing's going to be outside in in the thing. So I'm not worried about where the ceremony is going to happen. That's where the dancing can take place. So I don't have to worry about going in and out. Um, so I will be using the Gemini speaker for the inside. It's an eight. I'm not worried about that um, for the simple fact that 
I, I trust Gemini because I've, I've used Gemini for a long time and I love the products. Um, very, they sound very good, very well made. Um, so my very first DJ controller was a Gemini CD. Yeah. Very first. I wish I still had that controller. That controller was awesome. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. I want y'all to know downing DJs is not a parte we should be taking. We should be lifting up new DJs. I noticed, and it really, it really hurts because when I go in the comments and I read the comments about older, now a lot of older DJs, they don't care. They'll let it go. They'll say what they want to say. And I understand that. I do understand that. But I do want to let you know that you're only getting older. And the newer generation wants to learn. So we have to teach them the right way. If we don't treat, if if we go into this, and, and new DJs listen to this. If you go into this DJ and thinking it's going to be simple, it is simple, but it's complicated at the same time. I know what it, I know. It, it's just like everything else in life. It's learning and learning to. First of all, you have to be a good communicator. To be a wedding DJ or a party of wedding DJ, you have to be able to communicate. If you cannot communicate, you're going to learn to communicate. I can guarantee that. Another thing is, is you have to always be ready to change something. If my coffee pot is loud, sorry, it's making coffee. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm saying to you is it if you go into this DJ thing thinking that okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not you're done. I'm telling you, you're done. If you think that you're gonna come in here, i I've been DJing for a long time. Uh, quite a spell and one of the things that I've learned and uh, trust me when I say this I'm not saying that to, to bash anybody markets are different markets are different Big marketing. Now, if you're a new DJ and you're thinking that you're going to come in here, you can make some good money. I'm going to tell you that. You can make some good money, but it's not sometimes about the money. I'm going to be honest with you. Because I enjoy what I do. I like to watch people have a good time. I do. And sometimes, sometimes you might think, oh, you you paid that much. I'm not talking about money. Because the last time I talked about money, people bashed on me. Bashed on me hard. <laughs> you got to have rough skin to be a YouTuber. Trust me on that. Especially being a DJ YouTuber, you really have to have tough skin. Because everybody comes up with the questions and and sometimes they come up with the stupid answers, man. <laughs> they come up with the stupidest answers. So, um, listen. It's all about a lot of things. But if you're a new DJ, don't give up. Subscribe to my channel and you'll understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. Ring that bell. And you can smash that like button too.
but go ahead and subscribe. And listen, let's go ahead and wind this video down. So the biggest, biggest thing about this one was I wanted to reach out to the new DJs and older DJs at that. It sometimes can be a lot. So just remember what I said. There's a lot of things that you can do. Um, if you want to learn more, go ahead and leave a comment below. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you want to learn more. I'll learn. And let's go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And you can ring that bell for more notifications for videos like this. Smash that like button. And go ahead and check out these two videos here. And remember, just remember. If you don't know, now you know. And no one is half the battle. Peace. Now we know, and knowing half the battle.